Adara's POV. I was watching a movie with Lucas when I heard a buzz through the mind link. People were saying that the Alpha King's men were going around, picking some selected members of the pack from their homes to torture them. I wonder what they did this time. This pack was trouble and I'm sure they did something to bring the king's anger. I shut off the mind link. What do you want for lunch? I asked. He thought for a while. No pizza, I said. This kid loved pizza so much. Take out or you're making it? I'll order from a restaurant, I said, feeling lazy to cook. I want fish and chips and a coleslaw without mayo. I grabbed his phone and ordered the food, and in 30 minutes, they delivered right to my door. We ate the food in front of the TV. I don't get why boys get excited about violence, look that guy was just a bystander, and boom, he's dead, I frowned. I don't get half of the films you select, but I watch anyway, he shrugged. No wonder I liked watching with Gray, he got this, as if realizing what he said, he froze. His worried gaze was on me. I gave him a tiny smile, telling him it was all right. Luca and Grayson were close and had hurt him when he left us like the others. Adira, he called, putting his food on the coffee table. Hmm? Why did that man kiss you? I saw this question coming, but I didn't know it would take this long. He says we are mates, I said, pausing the movie when his mood dampened. You're leaving me, he whispered, tears threatening to fall from his eyes. I smiled and cupped his face. I will never leave you, ever. You're my only family in this world and I love you more than anyone, I said firmly. But you'll have to go to his pack and his house. I'm not even sure if we are mates, but if a time comes to leave this pack, you are coming with me. You and I together always, kiddo, I hugged him and he held me. He pushed me off him. Stop being emotional, woman, he sighed and I gaped at him. He was the one about to cry at the thought of losing me. I only shook my head, boys. A few hours later, I opened the pack link again. The buzz was louder and everyone had something to say. The beta twins are there too, someone said, and I squinted my eyes. Just what the fuck was happening in that field today? I needed to find out if it was true. Hey, I'll be back, I told Luca. He frowned and I ruffled his hair, before bolting out of the house and down to the training ground. I gasped at the sight, I couldn't believe it. There were a dozen people who looked beaten black and blue, I recognized all of them. Torture devices were lying on the floor and some men were punching each other. The women were crying. As I walked around, no one dared look me in the eyes. I soon found the Stephen twins, they glared at me. How could you ask the king to punish us, look at my fingers? Kara spat. Her fingers were bloody and her skin wasn't as flawless anymore. Debbie looked as though she wanted to kill me, but I know she wouldn't dare, especially with the limp. Kara tried to strike me, but I held her wrist. Are you sure that is wise? I asked. Raising my eyebrows, and she put her hand down, her fist clenching. Good girl, I heard your whole family is here today, so if you are done, you should leave to make room for others, I smiled tightly. I hated that I was enjoying this too much. It wasn't right and what did she mean they were punished, because of me? I spotted the Alpha King on the bleachers, watching the situation with a stoic expression. Alpha Mars was telling him something, but he didn't give him the time and day. I approached the duo, and he stiffened when he sensed my presence. What have you done? 